Since the dawn of human civilization, the moon has captured our imagination and inspired our sense of wonder. But it wasn't until 1969 that humans first set foot on the lunar surface. And for the past 50 years, the moon has largely been ignored in favor of other projects like the International Space Station and Mars missions. However, NASA is now planning to establish a permanent presence on the moon with a new lunar base that will cost $93 billion and take decades to complete. What's driving this renewed interest in the moon and what can we expect from a permanent lunar base? Stick with us to find out. Project Artemis While the moon may seem like an expensive, far-off destination, it holds a wealth of potential for humanity. The moon is an abundant source of resources like water and minerals, and it could provide a base for future exploration of our solar system. In addition, the moon's low gravity and lack of atmosphere make it an ideal location for research and development. But the challenges of building and sustaining a lunar base are enormous, from the extreme temperatures to the dangers of space radiation. With that said, let's dive into the details of NASA's plan, the Artemis program which aims to send humans back to the moon by 2025. NASA claims that its ambitious return to the moon under the Artemis program revolves around a renewed commitment to scientific exploration, economic endeavors, and the inspiration of future generations. The agency not only envisions planting the American flag once again on lunar soil, but also establishing a sustainable presence that serves as a springboard for deeper space exploration. NASA's emphasis on global collaboration reflects a departure from the solitary approach of previous lunar missions. The intention is to build a multinational alliance, fostering cooperation and knowledge sharing to maximize the collective potential for space exploration. One crucial aspect of the Artemis program is the establishment of an Artemis base camp on the lunar surface. This would serve as a hub for scientific activities, allowing robots and astronauts to conduct research and experiments in an environment unique to the Moon. The lunar surface offers a plethora of scientific opportunities, from studying lunar geology to testing technologies that will be essential for future deep space missions. Complementing the Artemis base camp is the Gateway, a lunar orbiting outpost. The Gateway serves as a staging point for lunar operations, facilitating communications between Earth and the lunar surface. Its strategic location enables efficient transportation of astronauts and cargo to and from the Moon. The Gateway's modular design allows for flexibility in accommodating various missions and partnerships, reinforcing the collaborative nature of Artemis. Despite the optimism surrounding Artemis, it's essential to acknowledge the historical context of lunar exploration and the challenges faced by previous attempts. The most iconic lunar mission, Apollo 11 to 17, achieved significant milestones but were discontinued after Apollo 17 in 1972 due to budget constraints, changing political priorities, and diminishing public interest. These hurdles highlight the importance of sustained funding, bipartisan support, and effective communication to ensure the longevity of contemporary lunar programs. One notable failed attempt to return to the Moon was NASA's Constellation program initiated in the mid-2000s. This ambitious project aimed to develop new spacecraft, including the Ares-1 and Ares-5 rockets, and return astronauts to the Moon by the 2020s. However, Constellation faced technological and budgetary challenges, leading to its cancellation in 2010 under the Obama administration. This setback highlights the fragility of long-term space exploration initiatives in the face of changing political landscapes and financial constraints. So, how does NASA plan to carry out the Artemis project successfully this time around? Well, NASA is leveraging 3D printing technology in collaboration with AI Space Factory for the upcoming Artemis mission. Trust me, I know what you're thinking at this point. 3D printing technology once promised to revolutionize construction and daily items a decade ago but seemingly fell short. However, there's a new perspective from an expert, Moataz Atala. In essence, he suggests that advancements in technology have transformed the types of materials used in 3D printing. Initially relying on plastics, recent developments have enabled the printing of substances like concrete and metal. 
This shift has not only enhanced the strength of the final products, but also sparked interest from NASA, as it aligns with evolving design possibilities, particularly in construction. For this project, AI Space Factory is tasked with constructing a cutting-edge 3D-printed lunar base camp named LENA, designed to accommodate astronauts and robots during their mission. The multifunctional lunar bunker will house essentials such as astromobile, telecommunication devices, habitation modules, and more. Its primary purpose is to shield occupants from various lunar challenges, including radiation, seismic activity, extreme thermal fluctuations, and meteorites. Additionally, the base will feature a photovoltaic tree for harnessing solar energy. The construction material for this lunar bunker is a product of a collaboration between AI Space Factory and NASA's Granular Mechanics and Regolith Operations Laboratory. The material underwent validation through vacuum testing with static extrusion experiments to ensure its suitability for the lunar environment. AI Space Factory, an American company, designed the LENA base to enable astronauts to reside for extended periods. The construction process itself will be carried out by autonomous robots. The base comprises three units, each spanning 75 square meters, separated by a communal courtyard measuring 90 square meters. Positioned at the lunar south pole, known as the peak of eternal light, the shelter benefits from constant solar radiation. Additionally, there are plans to collect ice from a nearby crater's shade. The Lena Lunar Bunker is engineered to have a lifespan of at least 50 years, protecting against solar and cosmic radiation. The lunar regolith covering will safeguard against micrometeorites, lunar earthquakes, radiation, and extreme thermal conditions. The prototype is currently in production at the Kennedy Space Center, replicating the environmental conditions of the upcoming mission area with temperatures ranging from negative 170 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. The AI Space Factory design team emphasized the significance of LENA, stating that as they expand the horizon of what is possible in the future, LENA is an architectural and technological milestone that sets a precedent for conducting explorations farther out than our moon. Notably, the incorporation of regolith, a loose lunar rock, holds promise for sustainable 3D printing in future extraterrestrial endeavors, as recognized by NASA scientists exploring innovative construction methods for other planets or satellites like our moon. But like many other massive projects out there with hefty price tags, Artemis has not been without its share of criticisms and challenges. Even though NASA and its partners are making strides with the Artemis missions, we cannot fail to mention that they're grappling with significant hurdles. The Human Landing System program aims to wrap up its developments in 79 months, 13 months less than NASA's average for major projects. Given the intricacies of human spaceflight, expecting more than a year speed-up seems impractical. If aligned with the usual project timeline, the Artemis mission could potentially take place in early 2027 as per the Government Accountability Office's findings. As of September 2023, the Human Landing System program encountered delays in 8 out of 13 critical events, pushing some to 2025, the launch year. Issues arose in part due to the orbital flight test, delayed by 7 months and terminated early when the vehicle deviated from its intended path. Successive tests hinge on the completion of a second orbital test flight. SpaceX, which is supporting NASA on this project, faces a substantial workload, including developing propellant storage and transfer capabilities in orbit. Progress on the technology supporting this aspect of the lunar landing mission has been limited, as documented by NASA. Axiom, in adapting NASA's previous work for modernized spacesuits, still grapples with design challenges, prompting potential redesigns and delivery delays. NASA has devised steps to assess SpaceX's and Axiom systems for mission suitability and crew safety, employing a supplemental evaluation process. Contracting includes insight clauses to maintain visibility into development aspects, ensuring alignment with Artemis III mission objectives and crew safety. This extends to commercial endeavors like SpaceX's activities preceding the orbital test flight. To make matters worse, there's the challenge of securing the $93 billion required for the project. 
the Government Accountability Office suggests that to meet the December 2025 Artemis mission deadline, NASA must develop, acquire, and integrate various new systems. This includes crew transport to the lunar surface and spacesuits, with NASA adopting an innovative approach for acquisition to enhance affordability and innovation. Considering these complexities, do you think NASA's efforts to expedite the Artemis mission are on the right track? Feel free to share your thoughts and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting updates like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.